Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 19, episode 3, with our new club in Brazil. We are at, uh, what's it, it's Paysandu, Paysandu, Pay, P-A-Y. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so he got hurt, let's see, let's catch you guys up on what's been happening. So we've had the early run, uh, we played... Piranes and Brazil, uh, BPB in the second leg to advance. We played Pyrenees again. We beat them 2-0. So keeping in mind, let's see, where did we start here? Uh, that would have been there. Okay, so this was Taquez's debut, right? Remember that? Three goals in 20 minutes. A 20-minute hat trick in his debut. Uh, we played Pyrenees, 2 nothing win. Uh, Taquez, a brace. Uh, he's a stud. Then we played Sal Francisco. Uh, he got a rest. Uh, Luis Pedro up top got a goal. Lorenco, our center back, got a goal. And Ruster, one of our wingers, picked up a goal. Uh, Tapajos, we beat 5-0. Taquez, another brace. Two more goals. Ruster, uh, Captain Romulo Frank and Jefferson. Uh, then we drew against REM. REM was top of the table. Uh, I think they are the defending Paris State champions. And uh, we got goals from Taburi and Lorenko again. Uh, we gave up two late goals in a short span. Uh, just a brutal collapse on our part. Uh, we played Manaus in the uh, first leg on the away leg. And we got goals from Lorenko and Rojas again. We gave up a 91st minute goal. Uh, but two to one with two away goals. So that sets us up nicely for today. And then the Copa Verde first round, first leg, uh, one nil Romulo Frank, the captain with the game winner. Um, yeah, the young kid, he, I don't know. He's been a little cold lately. Um, let's see, where is he at? Pedro... There he is, talk is. Uh, well, yeah. Come on, does that not? Six and a half, six, eight, 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 six, six. So, yeah, he's, he's been a little off. He's been a little off lately, but he's he's done well. Um, <laughs> he looks really good. So, uh, taking a look at competitions, uh, we are... Sitting on 13 points after five matches, four wins, one draw. Uh, Independent and Sal Raimundo unbeaten. Uh, so we are running uphill here. I don't know. I don't know how this works. So we have two divisions, and I'm guessing. Ten games, no, ten teams. Top two teams qualify for the semis. Bottom team is relegated. <clears throat> okay, so top two teams in the semis. So, yeah, we need to finish in the top two. Third, we're out. So, no shot at winning. So, we're playing well, but look at this. 13 points, we'd be three points clear. These We haven't started playing in our half, I guess. We've been dominating the other half. So maybe when we start playing these guys, this will, you know, we're definitely the group of death, I would say. <laughs> right? <laughs> so that's going on there. Uh, the division begins in uh, two months. Jesus. So we've got a long way to go for that. Uh, we're in the second round, second leg. Uh, expected to reach the third round, so we'd like to do that and continue making some money. And uh, first round, second leg uh, for the Copa Verde. So, And we're expected to reach the final. So it's pretty high expectations. So we're playing Manaus today to try to get through the third round. So let's get to it. Uh, transfers, I think... We've got a couple of things going on. So our backup keeper, Nakao, 
pretty good looking kid uh, has just lost his freaking mind and wants to be transfer listed. Uh, we got an offer. So he's valued at 5.75. He's got a buyout on his contract of a million and a half dollars. So they came in and offered like $26,000. And I went, uh, no. So I offered him out at a million and a half. And I've gotten couple of dozen offers I mean I've got eight offers pending on him but I've rejected a bunch uh, and yeah four hundred and twenty five thousand four seventy five eighty five I mean you know I guess a couple of these are over four hundred thousand maybe I want to look at that but uh, ALA uh, they're a second division just like we are uh, they are I don't know what they are. They're a first division club. So, yeah, and they're rich. So I don't know why they would have an issue. I think uh, that a ALA, they must have been relegated. So they've still got some money. But, you know, do I try to sell him for, you know, a half a million when he's got a million and a half clause in his contract? And nobody's come close to that, and so he's losing his shit over that. Um, oh, well. That's go Oh, and I think I had another one other transfer. Uh, yes, we sold Luis Henrique uh, for $11,000. Uh, I think he had, a, he had a pretty good buyout in his, too, but nobody would match it. He plays that number 10, and I don't use it, so he's decent, but... His technicals aren't very good. He's 22. I don't think he's going to get much better. So I went ahead and moved him, uh, got an offer, sold him for 11000 And then we signed Takez. You guys saw him. I did sign this guy. We, we went out and bought him. Um, and he's a youngster for the future. So he's 16 years old. He's a center back, six foot one. He's already pretty good. He needs to work on his heading, but he has good jumping reach. He's got four and a half star potential. So I think he's got a lot of upside. So went ahead and signed him as a future player slash money grab, for lack of a better term. Um, so anyway, uh, let's get to team selection. And I want to look at this. So we are favored at home. We're in excellent form. Uh, we've got a couple of guys, twisted ankles, torn hamstring, pulled calf muscle. Ouch. Uh, let's see. So we are favored. So we're going to go here. We'll see Takez up top again. I'm tempted. Let's go ahead and sort that out. Uh, anybody... Patel's not playing great. We need to get him into some match sharpness, though. So he, he needs to play. That may help him out. But all in all, our form's really good, you know, for the most part. I mean, nobody nobody's really dragging. I mean, a 6-7-6 six, six is the worst. Um, we could certainly, you know, not ask for much more. Uh, we put uh, Hello, Hello Jr. on uh, the loan list to get him to play a little bit more. And let's see, seven two. So he's he's getting a start on the right side. Yeah, Moraha it needs a rest. Tita. Tita's got some ability. He can't, he, you know, he's an average tackler. He can pass. He's He can actually mark semi-decent. Let's see. But he's much better defensively, and he can still cross the ball. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into it. So, you know, still trying to feel out the team, uh, get used to what they're doing, what they can do. And, you know, of course, it takes that first season to kind of, 
evaluate and then make your, you know, get through a, uh, I got a double click there. Damn it. Um, and then, you know, get through your, tra you know, your first year with transfers uh, to really start making the team your own, right? Rojas Lozano into the box. Oh, across the face of the keeper with the goal. Very nice. Very nice. 53 seconds in. All right, let me... Yeah, this reset here. So we wanna wanna bump that out a little bit. There we go. Uh, and want more of that. Yep, yep. Good deal. And I am gonna have to buy a new mouse. I'm afraid. I just uh, it's not that old, but I guess. When you go clicky clicky an awful lot, they wear out. Big day today for me. Uh, so it's almost five o'clock in the morning. I've been up for about an hour and a half. A uh, little bit of insomnia. Oh, Takers, number eight on the season. Jesus, I want to sign this kid. I want to sign this kid because he looks awesome. In fact, I want to let's let's go look at him. Contract, contract info. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that. 18 million for domestic clubs. He's on a hundred and ninety-four thousand a year. We're not paying him anything. We're not paying anything on this guy. He's coming for <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was a nice thought. <laughs> I tell you what, he keeps playing like this and they may get some, uh, some European clubs come sniffing around that kid. Jeez. So anyway, uh, as I was talking about, um, so pretty big day for me today. You guys know I've been on. Oh, what happened? What happened? Injury, injury, upper body injury. Jesus. Um, Pita. Um, I've been on my, this jury trial uh, for the last week and a half, um, and uh, the. Presentation of evidence finished yesterday uh, afternoon. So we're going in today, and I, I still can't talk about the case. Probably won't mention it, you know, much. Just you know, letting you guys know what's going on. But uh, we'll do the uh, the attorneys will do their closing arguments today. Uh, very happy. Keep it going. Um, and then once they've made their closing arguments, uh, then the case comes to the jury. And then we begin our deliberation uh, for a final decision. So uh, anyway, I take that pretty seriously. You know, I mean, we're making a legal determination, uh, you know, in a court of law. So it's... Uh, you know, a little stressful. You know, thankfully it's not a criminal case where, you know, somebody could go to jail or, you know, lose their life via execution or anything. But uh, I can only imagine how stressed out I'd be on that kind of case. But uh, still, you know, you are made. Oh, pounced. Oh, clinical finish. Oh, that was brilliant. Number nine, another brace. Oh, my. God, he could be my best goal scorer. Oh, look at that. That is so sweet. He could be my best goal scorer since James Wilson and Liz Mousset. 
with leads back in FM 17. Uh, let's see, Pratel, defensive mid. Let's sort these guys out there. All right, he's off. God, I don't have anybody. Um, Borghino, let's drop you back. And then that would be a mid-center. I uh, really don't have anybody there either, do I? Shoot. Um, Hmm. He's got no pace. He's my striker replacement. Um, well, you know what? I am, I'm going to put him in back here. Out of position. Not, not real happy with the way that's working out, but. Uh, lumped it out. Nice clearance off the line. Uh, concentrate, complacent, disinterested. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put. Uh, well, let's give. Let's give him. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, I don't even know what his ratings are. Hey, he doesn't suck. He can't head the ball. He can jump, but he can't head the ball. But he's got good defense. All right. We're up 5-1 on aggregate, 3-0 today. Uh, Luis Pedro got hurt. God dog it. All right, Nilo with the uh, save there. Boguinho lumps it out. Nice. Ruster. Rooster. Tita. All right, he just lumped it deep to the keeper. That should get us to the whistle. There we are. Easy win today, 3-0. Man of the match has got to be uh, Takez, right? Best performers. Does it tell me on this screen who won man of the match? I see the best performer. Lozano, his first career goal. Rooster, his 375th career appearance. How old is that dude? 30, Jesus. That's insane. Um, boom, boom. Well done, good win. Uh, lower leg injury, hopefully not too bad because he is my number two striker, basically. All right, so we win there. Three weeks, ouch. Oh, that's the fullback. Bummer. Two to three days, tight Achilles, that's fine. Tita makes his debut. Uh, 277,000, nice. We draw OES in the third round. Good deal. Takez is stellar. Yes, you were stellar again. <laughs> and good deal. All right, we will come back. Let's see, do we want to play? I'm going to play Kometa off camera, and we'll come back for Into Porto because it's a second leg match uh, here in the cup. And uh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes for that. So we beat Carmetta 1-0.
uh, Romulo Frank, the captain, got the game winner. Uh, we played our new, uh, the new signing, uh, Jose De La Cruz, our new striker, uh, the one that was supposed to be a backup, but, you know, with the injuries and whatnot, he, uh, you know, he was forced into action. So uh, he played all right, 6.5. Taquez came in uh, off the bench, 6.4. No goals there, but we had 33 shots. I was like, jeez. So, um, anyway, we're playing into Porto today. We beat them 1-0 in the first leg away. So we've got an away goal and a 1-0 advantage. Uh, I hate those double clicks. Uh, let's see. So we're 2-1-0 and against these guys. So we are favored. Only 4,500 tickets sold. That's, that's too bad. Definitely too bad. All right, let's go. Uh, Hello, Junior is going to get some game time. Rojas, Pedro is going to have to be on the outside. He is back full health, right? Yeah, he was only dinged up for a couple of days. Uh, Tita is going to have to start it right back because we're still injured out there with. Uh, no, we're not. Let's see, Jefferson, Romulo Frank's going to get a rest. Dela Cruz. Pert oh, yeah, Pertel needs a lot of rest. Jesus. Uh, Columbari. Yeah, he needs a rest. For now, he started two games. Yeah, everybody down here needs rests. So... Do we have a uh, – we're going to do that again using the reserve squad just to see if it adds anybody new in. So we'll have a few new players in here, a little weaker in, uh, in the central mid. Uh, notice the uh, opacity is gone from the from the from the mug here. Um, I had to actually go in and just reset the defaults and then start readjusting from scratch uh, this morning uh, to get it. I, I have no. No idea what was wrong with it. But uh, anyway, resetting to defaults seemed to get that fixed up. And uh, then I was able to start tweaking it out from there. All right, Foguinho. Hello, Junior. His first ball touch of his career. All right. Up into the attacking zone. Nice ball out to Tita. Oh, there it is. Takez, number 10. The header from the 6-5 poacher. Man, he is damn impressive, isn't he? Gee whiz. He's, he's got to be signing of the season already, yeah? Junior. Oh, no. And you're gone. I'm guessing straight red. Wow. We've seen this before, haven't we? Uh, so we'll put you up there. We'll drop you back. You back. Um, I'll put you on support. And support. Uh, Takez, attacking mid-right. Luis Pedro. We're going to put him on attack. Let's 
see where that goes. Let's drop back to balanced. All right, there's a nice save. So we got the early goal. We're up 2 0 on aggregate. Oh, Felipe fights it off. All right, Pedro in space. Ruder. Oh, no. All right, Felipe. A lot of space in the center. He shoots from range. Come on, we could do better than that. Pedro picks up another yellow, his second of the season. Oh, I saw him go in with the leg and I was panicking. I was panicking just a little bit. Oh, he sat him down. Pirolito, sixth of the season. At least it wasn't their first goal, you know. All right, so they've equaled his on away goals. So if they score another one and equalize, then they're going to win on away goals. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, Augusto puts one in for us. Very nice. First goal of the season off the little set piece. Oh, the, it looks like he looks like Perlito per missed the header there. Very nice. All right, that gives us a little bit of breathing room. Aguinho. Nice. Nice job. Pedro. Oh, oh, Ruster. Oh, I think he should have found that one. I think that should have been in the net. Tita, the cross. Ruster. Offsides. Oh, barely. I think he was barely off. I know the other guy was off, but. Boy, how did he have that much space when we're a man down? That is insane. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really happy with this assistant manager here. Uh, da, da, da. Don't get complacent. And. Watch your step. Watch your step. Everybody looks to be playing. 6.7's our worst, so I'm going to call that a successful first half. I don't want to, they're playing well, so I don't want to give a lot of shouts. Ruster picks up a yellow. All right, um, mid right. Pace, yep. So we're going to put uh, Jean in there. Uh, mid left. And Jesus, we're going to undo that one. <sighs> he can play mid center. But he can also play attacking mid left. So we'll give him whatever. He can't cross. Hopefully he can do the job. Oh, 
Felipe drives it up to midfield. Rojas. Pedro taken down. Oh, that's a big dude there, huh? That's a huge guy. Gee whiz. It's like Manute Bowl. <laughs> He's got to be, what, 5'7", maybe? Luis Pedro to the touchline. Oh, Takez with a brilliant header. Oh, my God. Number 11. That should seal it for us there. Beautiful header. Uh, six six two hundred pounds, jeez. And then who's who's that? Is it Tita? Five seven. Yep. <laughs> oh, you remember we had that guy? We ended up getting rid of him. Oh, Foguinho, his first goal of the season. Call off the dogs. Um. Sarah Largo, when we first took over there, I think it was Sarah Largo. We had that left back. He was he was a reserve, but he played a good bit. He was a little itty bitty dude. I think he was five six or five seven. Oh, what a save! Good block. Some foul. Nice job, boys. Oh, hello, Junior. Um, yeah, let's rest him. He's got two goals. Maybe. No, you know what? I'm gonna rest uh I'm gonna rest Foguinho. I may end up having to sign some more players. There was something that I was seeing that you required a minimum of twenty five players and I only had twenty two. I'm not sure oh good save by Fabricio. Uh, not sure how I've only got 22 because I got players all over the freaking place. But oh, look at the touch there! Oh, he dinked the keeper. Pirolito, his seventh of the season. Finesse by the big man. All right. Well, hopefully they don't score three more goals in ten minutes. There's a lot of, I, we haven't even, we're two months away from starting the league. Oh, another brilliant save. A 7-3. That's huge for a keeper, huh? I'm pretty happy with that. Takez with a brace. Pirolito with a brace for their side. Uh, appreciate the efforts for sure. Uh, let's see. First leg triumph. Benjamin makes his debut. Um, just to confirm. Yes, that was a straight red card. Uh, so, yeah. We find that two-week salary, sir. Damn right you accept that. Foguinho, 22 years old. Uh, superb. He's check. So, yeah, his uh, he, he's been here for several matches. Hopefully he doesn't pull him back. Um, I guess, real quick, let's finish today. 
Um, I guess I need to go in and look and see my overall depth. I know you know we've signed some players, but we may just need a couple more. I, I don't know. Um, I'm really trying to keep the budget down, try to get finances. Excuse me. Trying to get finances under control. Um, you know, I want to get up into the uh, into the black so we're profitable and, and making money. Uh, it's just going to take a while. But, you know, if we can keep payroll down, that's certainly going to help, especially with some, some wins coming along. I mean, right now you can see we've made... 262,000 this month, almost a million dollars this season. And, you know, we've shaved it down to 1.1 million. So, you know, th this can be done. You know, we're 2.8 under the payroll budget. But again, doesn't mean you have to spend that, right? Let's take a quick look at the team depth chart. So, four right backs three left backs, but eight attacking mid. Do we have anybody? Uh, let's only look at attacking mid left. And then out of these guys, do we have any that are a little more defensive minded? A one marking. That would be a no. He's 30, so he's probably not the best guy to go. Now, he's got an 8. He could work on tackling. You know what? He's 18. Let's have it. See, he's he's more of a striker. Yeah, so he's more of our striker. Uh, six. Seven. He's 30 as well. Damn. So I really don't have anybody. What about defenders on the left? I mean, the fact that he's already had to make an appearance. He's 27. Let's go ahead and train him there. So let's go mid left. Wide midfielder attack. Let's start training him up there. And I think I'm gonna go see if there's if there's anybody free agency or or a loney that we can bring in that can play that mid left because you know if we look at our tactics selection, you know, I do play with a mid left there. I mean Ruster can play if he needs to, but we really are a little weak there. And possibly three of my top four central mids 
are also my defensive mids. I need to pay a little more attention here, possibly. So, I'd like, I want, want to bury to play a little bit more. Where's to bury at? I don't know. Where is to bury? He's not there. Not there. There he is. Oh, he's injured. That's right. Four weeks. All right. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's just what it is. We've got some injury concerns. You know, maybe when everybody's back healthy. Yeah, it's just one of the things we're going to have to deal with. Anyway, uh, where do we come back, fellas? Um I'm going to go ahead and skip the quarterfinal. I want to start getting towards league action here, but we'll probably come back for the second leg of the Brazil Cup. And let's come back for Tapajo, Tapayos, Tapayos, just a guess. Um, let's come back for there. That'll get us another four or five games under our belt well another three yeah four games uh and then we'll push on because i'm sure yeah the para state man i don't want to jinx it but damn uh, let's see, REM's currently in first position. Sal Francisco is in second. That's in their group. When do we play these guys? Or do we not? Ten teams. Ten games. Right? 10 teams, 10 games. So we're playing everybody down here. Independent, ind bleh, independent and Sal Raimundo. How do we play them? I have no idea. They're not even showing up, are they? Strange. I don't know. So if there's 10 teams, which there are in both groups, and you have 10 games, you think you would play everybody once, but it looks like we're playing everybody in the other division twice. So keep in mind, we are playing with a custom database which was to add all of the secondary tier clubs for us to play I don't know if that has something to do with this if that's a screw up in the database seems odd but you know it's what we've got so we'll go with it anyway so yeah let's come back for uh, OES that second leg of the third round because there's some money on the line to Pios, and then we'll see where we go from there. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Thanks again for hanging out. We'll talk to you later. Bye.